Hey guys, welcome to this video. Been getting a lot of messages and posts on the forum on how to bypass the Windows 7 password. I've made a video on this before using a piece of software called Passcape, which was a paid piece of software that you have to buy. Um, people have been asking me how you can do it for free with free piece of software. Well, you can use Conboot, but it's a little bit hit and miss. I've had a lot of people saying it does work and it don't work. Um, there's also a piece of software called Renity, uh, Trinity Rescue Kit. We can get it for free, and you can get it from this website here, TrinityHome.org. And this is the actual uh, software here. You've seen me use it before to get rid of viruses using a virus scan feature, but there is isn't actually a password reset tool on here which actually does the job. Now they've just updated this to 3.4, which uh, allows you to do Windows 7 as well. So if you get stuck, you can also come to the how to section, uh, quick and dirty guides, and you'll see resetting passwords, and it shows you all the stuff there. There's even a video here to show you if you wanted to have a little look. Okay, so that's that. Let's get started anyway. As you can see, we've got a password on this account. I don't know what it is, and what I want to do is try to remove this password and make it blank so we can just log on. Okay, so what we're going to do is reset the uh, or restart the system. Now I'm using a virtual box here, um, but you'll be using it obviously a normal PC, uh, and you put a CD in. But I'm going to be booting off of an ISO just so I can show you. So let's restart the system, and then once that's done, we're going to boot to boot to the ISO image. Do you want to go into the default mode here? Let this all load in. The old one had an orange sort of uh, thing here, emblem here, but this is the blue one, this is the new version, 3.4. It's just um, mounting and you'll see a little bit of checking there, it'll go through some checks and you'll see a few OKs coming up. Once that's done, we should be able to reset the password. Now Windows 7 is pretty difficult to remove the password on. Uh, sometimes you may need a couple of attempts with this to actually do it. I've had, I've actually used this before. I don't particularly use this method anymore, but it is possible to do it. But you may need a couple of attempts to do it. So let me just, uh, hopefully it'll do it first time. What we're doing is waiting for the welcome screen to come up. This is the welcome screen. All we need to do now is rem move down to the Windows password resetting. Click on that. And now we can actually go into either interactive mode or reset password with uh, built in administrator default, as you can see here. I'm going to do that there. Now, this is the uh, one we can see here one Windows operating system has been found so I'm just going to push one there push enter that loads it all up as you can see now it's asking us what do we want to do well we want to clear and blank the user password so I'm going to type one again and uh, basically that should have removed that let me just make sure that we are in the right account here Okay, so let me just try this again, a different one. I'm going to try this one first. This is the older method, the way I've done it. So we're just going to click on one again here to access that Windows drive. Again, edit user data and passwords, number one, enter. Now you can see the accounts that we've got here, Administrator and Brightech. I want to get into Brightex account, so what I want to do is type Brightex here, like so. Okay, now we want to do one, we want to clear that. Push one, and it says password has been cleared. Okay, so what we want to do here is quit. and we want to quit out of this as well okay go back to the main menu 
and we can actually quit out of this now. It's just uh, shutting this all down. just need to make sure we're not booting to that CD again. Okay, so let me just take the uh, ISO image out of the equation. Okay, let's boot her up and see if that's removed it. Now, normally that does remove it, but occasionally you might get a chance where you need to do it a couple of times, but it will remove it. And hopefully this should go straight into the Windows desktop. Let me just cancel that. If this goes straight into Windows Desktop, it's removed that password, which is the old idea. There you go. Okay, guys, so that's how you remove Windows 7 password with a free piece of software called Trinity Rescue Kit. So it is possible to do it with free software. Okay, you've seen it with your own, own eyes. Okay, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you enjoy these videos, remember, hit the subscribe button, share your support, and... Uh, rate for my videos there and if you haven't joined the uh, forum yet then head over to the forum www.brightechcomputers.co.uk forward slash forum and uh, join the community over here if you've got problems with your computer and you want to get a hand to fix any virus removals then come over here and we'll do our best to help you and get you back up and running okay thanks again guys bye for now